as we are just moments away from kickoff between Angel City and the San Diego Wave. Angel City in their all black kits. And we are underway. The San Diego Wave on the ball first, wearing their hot pink kits, can help unlock that first goal and then maybe Ooh. open up things. And here was a bad giveaway. Elise Bennett going in on goal. She doesn't take the opportunity well. It was a bit of a gift from the Angel City back line. And she plays the ball right into the hands of Didi Hadicic. And right away, Madison Curry puts her hand up, says, that's my fault. And recognizing that, ooh, we almost went two for two there. Curry playing now as a center back. She has played outside back on the right side. She's played on the left side and then slid into center back with Sarah Gordon going down last weekend. She's been really versatile in this position, but it is not natural for her. And that is the big absence for Angel City to note on the defensive front. Sarah Gordon is gone, and here come Angel City. Alyssa Thompson going in on goal. Alyssa Thompson, heavy touch, and she is denied by Sheridan. Shocking Angel City a little bit, having trouble getting out of their own defensive third. And the key now for San Diego would be to capitalize as a, another turnover. San Diego unable to do much with that one, trying to penetrate the 18. As Savannah McCaskill gets the ball back. McCaskill fires off a shot, blocked! And that one out for a corner. Savannah McCaskill trying to get things going against her former team tonight. McCaskill, and she starts this whole play. She just gets a little touch between the legs here of Rodriguez. There's no foul on the play. And if you're not going to step, was pressuring high enough up the field. And it has produced some nervy moments for Angel City as perhaps another one, Jasmine Spencer, goes to ground. Angel City come away with the ball. And here they come yet again. Maya Jones getting into the area. Maya Jones fires off a shot, and that one blocked again by Havicic. A veteran goalkeeper, because it has just been a peppering here of her, the frame of her goal. Nothing truly challenging her, but it has been giveaway after giveaway from Angel and One big name who has also been working back from injury is Alex Morgan, who very much could feature tonight as she has been back in training. Cross into the box, headed away, back post. Sanchez is there. Sanchez denied by Hedicic. I'm just calling for Jaden Shaw to leave this ball because she was in acres of space at the back post, and that little flick kind of offsets the run from Sanchez. So she hesitates, can't quite get there, but Hedicic, I think she takes one off the chin. Whew. Great work by goalkeepers on both sides to be aggressive, to come off their line and to deny space. Your San Diego were 15 minutes into this game and they've had so many chances. They've got to be a bit disappointed to have not found the back of the net as here come Angel City, the home side, getting forward. Shot straight into the arms. She's been able to, to really take off and go. Perhaps just some quicker recognition from the players around her to get forward as well. Maya Jones. Gets herself out of some pressure. Finds Lundkiss, who plays it across. Header! Oh, just wide. And we'll hope to maybe create a few more chances before the half. Jones gets it to McCaskill. McCaskill sends a cross in, header just over the bar. Sanchez. It's now two for two, finding the right space at the back post against Jazz Spencer. And here she just separates slightly and going to depend on how this game plays out. And you got to imagine right now, still not having found the back of the net, Alex Morgan services could be called upon as McCaskill over the corner, sends it in, headed away by Angel City. Emsley tries to help it on, one back. McCaskill, chip into Sanchez. Shot just over the bar, and again, San Diego just cannot capitalize. Hannah Lundkiss getting the shot off. After a set piece, the second wave, I guess pun intended there, <laughs> is so important to make sure you can get pressure off of your six, remark up, and Lundkiss doesn't miss. We got Thompson little. sisters left on an island there. <laughs> little sister, sister. Back line. I don't know if I should be singing on television right now. My voice isn't quite good enough for that. My producer is telling me no. Jasmine Spencer saying yes, driving through the middle. Spencer shot straight into the arms of Sheridan. 
So compact defensively, Spencer trying to find a way through. San Diego come away with it with that stout defensive front. And that kind of defensive shape, it not only helps them defend in crossing situations, not allow Angel City to break them down. Angel City now coming through centrally. Rocky Rodriguez to Emsley, who's dispossessed. And San Diego get out on the counter. Here comes Bennett, Elise Bennett, shipping it over the bar just barely. You have to imagine how this game has gone is perhaps brought out some of those frustrations even for both coaches. Fuller and Germa. Rodriguez comes away with it. Rodriguez shot, forcing a save. Looks like it was out on the year. So you got to think, having lost two games straight at home, coming off a loss over the weekend, and so far keeping it scoreless, you think their focus is a little bit more on defense as they get forward. Here comes Alyssa Thompson. Flips it off to Vignola. Vignola cross. That one cleared away. Sheridan get a piece on that. Hard to say. The crucial goal. This could have been the 17th stoppage time goal in the second half in NWSL this year. Oh. It is a kick save from Sheridan. She gets a little toe on it. Vignola coming in to the attacking box. Shaw plays it in. Header one off the crossbar. Still alive. Morgan batted away and cleared away by Angel City out behind for a corner. Great ball here from Shaw because it draws out the defense and then there's a second opportunity. And there is the final whistle scoreless between Angel City and the San Diego Wave. The first scoreline like this between these two sides in the eighth meeting.